It is finally here. Today's election day and the polls will open in less than half an hour. Our Sarah Costa joins us live in the newsroom with the biggest races to watch and what you need to know before you head to the polls. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Steph. The Texas governor's race between Governor Greg Abbott and Beto O'Rourke is the biggest race to watch today. The race also catching national attention. So Abbott has been critical of the record setting number of unauthorized migrants who have crossed the border in the last year under President Biden's administration. O'Rourke has criticized Abbott's Operation Lone Star and busing program that has sent thousands of migrants to cities outside of Texas like Washington, D.C., New York City, and Chicago. And gun reform, another big issue here. O'Rourke says he wants to raise the age to buy AR-15 type weapons from 18 to 21. That's because that's what families of victims from Uvalde have pushed for. Abbott has argued that a recent federal court ruling that found the state's minimum age for pistol purchases at 21 unconstitutional and says it means that the state cannot pass a law to raise the age for semi-automatic rifles. The big local race to watch who will succeed a longtime Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf. So both candidates running have experience in local politics. Democrat Peter Sakai spent 26 years as a judge overseeing the court system's budget and presiding over cases involving drugs, domestic violence and family issues. Sakai began his career in Bear County District Attorney's Office and then opened his own law practice. Now, Republican Trish DeBerry is a former television journalist who then founded a multi-million dollar marketing company before turning to politics. DeBerry managed Ed Garza's mayoral campaign in 2001 and ran for the city's top office in 2009, losing to Julian Castro. She was elected to Bear County Precinct 3 Commissioner, her first political office in 2020, but she has stepped down just one year later when she announced her bid for the top county position. Now grab your phone. If you scan this QR code on your screen right now, it'll take you to our election coverage page. There you'll be able to find everything you need to know before you head to the polls. And KSAT will have complete coverage later tonight as the polls close, as well as complete results from midterms tomorrow morning right here on GMSA. And of course, don't forget to watch our live stream on KSAT.com starting at 7 p.m. and our Nightbeat election coverage at 10 tonight. Mark and Steph.